Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to swap the engine and the transmission mount on my E46 M3. We are going to install this rev sheet, polyurethane engine and transmission mount onto the car. So without further ado, let's go. Perfect. like I did in the past in the E36 M3 when I had it, I'm going to replace the transmission and engine mount on this E46 M3. Now again, just like last time, I went with RevShift because it's a good brand made in the USA and they make great product. So for the transmission one, I went with the 95 8 Euro meters and because FCP Euro were out of stock on the 90, 95 Euro meter for the transmission I one with the 80 now the difference between the 80 and the 95 is that 80 is a little on the softer side compared to 95 95 is more like street track this one is more like street plus kind of like you have sport plus and street plus where this is just street plus where it's going to give you kind of oem feel but a little more harsher than oem feel but not as harsh as track so the installation is pretty simple. I've completed the transmission installation on the E36 M3. The process is very, very, very similar. So let's go down there and then go ahead and try to tackle this. I'm gonna start with the transmission and then end with the engine mount. I went ahead and jacked up my car already as a prerequisite step. So let's go under the car and see what needs to be done. If this is your first time to stop by the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also give that like. Now let's go ahead and start working out. The first step you have to do, of course, is jack up your car. Always make sure that you have something to support the car in case the jack fails. As you can see, I have my jack point down there and I have this ram just as a backup measure. Now you have to remove a bunch of 10 millimeters, 10, 10, 10, and a bunch of 16 millimeters to drop this, this, and then down there you have eight millimeters to drop that part now that part is really when we are going to do the transmission mount for the engine mount all you have to do is remove this and that now i'm going to go ahead and remove all these this bunch of 16 10 and 8 millimeter bolts so we're actually going to start with the engine mount because i find it a little more easier compared to the transmission so the engine mount on the passenger on the driver's side is literally this bolt right here so if you follow this uh, magnetic tool that I have, this bolt that I'm touching right here on the bottom is literally the top one on the driver's side. So that's the bolt, it's a 16 millimeter. And then on the passenger side, I have light right now. It's kind of difficult for me to show that to you. I can see the bolt. First thing you have to do is if you follow this little magnetic tool, you have to move the heat shield right here, bend it, towards the outside of the car and you will be able to see one bolt pointing all the way down there it's very 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 dark and i wish really that the the light can get there but that bolt right there i'm not sure if the camera is picking that up that's the one for the passenger side now those are 60 millimeter bolts so what you want to do is remove this and the one on the driver's side using bunch of extension uh and a 16 millimeter socket with a swivel so this is what i'm going to use i have a long extension a medium one and the swivel and the 16 millimeter that's what i'm going to use to kind of remove that so let me go ahead and remove that and i will show you uh, if i had any type of issues the bottom bolt here was pretty pretty tight i had to use a breaker bar to remove that's also a 16 millimeter as you can see here i have the jack with this piece of wood on the oil pan and i'm going to lift the engine through this way although it's not recommended to do that also have to make sure that you do one side at a time because you want the engine to tilt on one corner so that's exactly what i'm going to do here do this side first then once i replace that do the other side now i'm only going to show you the process on one side because it's the same on the other side and then after that we're going to move with the transmission which is on that side right there i completed the project and it took me maybe an hour to do this because I had to figure out a way to remove this specific one. This one was the most challenging one because it didn't want to come out. The old one was really collapsed and I had a hard time removing it. So what I had to do is actually remove, not really remove, lower the um, front subframe right here so that you know it can give me a little bit of clearance 
and then after I did that I had to you know unscrew this bolt the other one right here this 16 this 16 and the same thing on that side right here this bolt and his cousin right there now this one was pretty fair and simple now to elevate the engine I actually take my piece of wood block one right here and another side when I was doing that side right there I put it right here to support it now I thought that I was gonna actually do a little more work that's why I removed the front um, on the cover tray right there you don't have to remove that this was just an extra step that I did because I thought that I was going to do extra work on that end but you don't have to do that so now I fix everything the top is the, I screw the top bolt I screw the other top bolt on that end again these are still 16 because these are rest shift and I put a little bit of anti seize as you can see that's the white piece that white thing that you see right there a little bit of anti seize just to make sure that the next time the bolt is not going to be stuck now it's time to go ahead and uh, start on the transmission the transmission one is right here that's one side and then the other side is really right here now this is the one that i think that is going to be a little challenging because i have the exhaust right here so let me go ahead and remove that swap it and see how um, i will let you guys know how i did it now the process is fairly similar to the one on the e36 so i can link that video up there but i just want to see how i'm going to clear this exhaust i might have to remove the exhaust i am not sure yet i want to check first to see if i have to if i because i really don't want to do extra work so if i can remove this without removing the exhaust that's the one uh that's the option i'm going to do so i'm going to let you guys know in a second unfortunately i was not able to swap the transmission mount on my car today that's just because you have to remove that section one of the exhaust and i didn't really feel like removing it today just because i know that it's going to be out of my car again fairly soon when i'm doing my headers spoiler alert yes i'm purchased headers and i'm going to change my header fairly soon so when i do that i'm going to remove that section one and i'm also going to do the transmission mount at that time i didn't really want to invest in removing it when i know that in the near future i'm going to have to remove it again so i'm just going to tackle both of them at the same time so for that reason i went ahead and mounted everything under the car and this is literally how my engine bay looks everything is looking nice now i'm just going to take the car on a test drive to just see how it feels with this new engine mount now the old engine mount are literally right here and as you can see they were fairly 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 bad so that's why i needed to replace it now i, I did check my transmission mount and they don't actually look that bad bro. Well, it, it looks like maybe it was replaced recently because even the bolt itself it's not uh, it doesn't have any type of corrosion it's looking like a really new bolt so probably i might just also just decide to rock with that and keep my polyurethane um transmission mount maybe for a future time whenever i need to do this so it, only the future will tell but in order to do that job you have to remove that section one on the exhaust all right guys so i hope that this video was somehow helpful if you made it all the way to the end make sure that you subscribe to the channel like this video it was really challenging for me you see me dirty right now because i was in there for maybe 45 minutes trying to find a way to remove that one bolt that was just stuck there on the bracket holding the transmission mount and then i just decided to give up and then do it after i remove the section one exhaust but for the engine mount it's fairly simple once you find out how to access the bolt on this side and on that side it is pretty pretty simple also use the method i mentioned to raise the car and then you know just remove the bolt all right man so thank you again for sticking out doing this job with me so i'll see you on the next video bye bye